Investment trends change every couple of decades. And back in the, in the 1960s and 70s, people loved conglomerates, investing in one company that, that kind of does everything, one that's vertically or horizontally uh, integrated. And so General Electric was very successful under um, Jack Welch, who's a great manager, by the way. Uh, and he has this great book called Straight from the Gut. Read it if you care about GE. That guy can manage. He's, like, he's, he's tough to work for, but he's a genius. And so at GE, he created the GE Plastic Division. Uh, he created, um, uh, obviously, he helped refine the GE Industrials Division. GE Finance was done later. Melt kind of took that apart. Jeffrey Melt was the most, more recent CEO. And then what happened was, in, in 2008, in the financial crisis, people thought, oh my God, GE, General Electric, GE is a bank. We have to sell GE like we're selling all the banks. And GE went down a lot. It was a wonderful short. Uh, but uh, GE went down a lot because of GE Finance. That's one of their divisions. And so what happened was um, eventually they, they talked about spinning it off. And watch my vlog on United Technologies because I talk about why the company is breaking itself up. So UTX, for those who don't know, uh, stands for, is United Technologies is UTX. Um, and it's a ticker. And United Technologies has three main divisions that they're splitting up into three different companies. One of them is the Otis Elevator, which United Technologies owns. The other one is aerospace, okay, like uh, stuff they sell to Boeing and Airbus and governments that, that make military stuff. And the other one is building services, which includes Carrier, which is the air conditioning unit. Remember Dante, the song on the radio in Canada, Carrier Cares. How are you feeling? You'll be sleeping good tonight. Carrier Cares. Um, but they're splitting it up because investors don't want to invest in just one thing. It's kind of like, I don't know, there's so many stocks to choose from. Like, if, if I wanted to say say that Apple owned Ford, I'm not buying Apple to invest in a car company, man. I'm buying it to invest it in, in Apple, right? And so what happens is these companies are worth more broken up than they are together. The parts are worth more than the whole. And I'll give you another great example of this. And investors don't, investors like to invest in pure plays. They invest in the company because they love what they do, which their primary focus is this. If they do anything else, they might get distracted. And so, for example, eBay, uh, and I talked about in that blog as well, you can watch it. So eBay and PayPal broke up. eBay owned PayPal, as we know, for years, for years and years and years. And investors got confused because eBay's growth slowed a lot and value investors wanted to invest in eBay marketplace, the auction sites is a sleepy, slow growth business that was cheap. But value investors didn't want to buy eBay because half of eBay was PayPal, which is growing fast and made the valuation a bit more expensive. And growth investors, and by the way, you're either a value investor or a growth investor. You're never in between, most of them. And growth investors wanted to invest in eBay because of PayPal, but they didn't want this slow growth auction marketplace business. In came a private equity investor named Carl Icahn. And what Carl Icahn did was he got a board seat. He bought a lot of eBay. And by law, you have to disclose after you buy a bunch, 13D or whatever it's called, a filing on sec.com. And he bought enough that he was allowed to get a board seat. And he got on the board. He muscled his way in. And he said, <laughs> he was more big headed than me, but, but he said, I think the stock price is too low on eBay. He's a private equity investor. He's an activist. It's too low. And I think that investors want to own either core eBay or PayPal, not both. And so in order to unlock shareholder value and make the people that invest in my private equity fund richer, as a new board member, I'm going to try to bully you all or convince you all to break up the company. I don't mean bully like that. Well, maybe I do. And then what happens is, um, the board gets worried and John Donovan, great guy. Uh, I met him a number of times. He was a CEO of eBay and every time I meet him, he's a really tall guy, nice guy. Ex-consultant, Bain consultant. A lot of people started consulting and become CEO. But basically the management team listened and they had to because you know Carl Icahn owned a big part of the company and he called his other buddies that owned other big parts of eBay and they all agreed to break eBay up into pieces. And so PayPal is and eBay now as independent companies are worth a lot more than eBay core itself. The bottom line is that um, 
Wall Street and Bay Street, the, the whole world, investors, they have so much to choose from in, in the menu now uh, that uh, they don't have to, uh, they, they don't want to invest in conglomerates. Okay. Usually when you invest in a company, it's because you really like the one thing they do or the hand, several products that they make. You know, if Apple started selling um, Twisted Mango Coke, um, investors would be mad.